So what's your story? Before we start, did you watch the lesson one video already? If not, pause this video and invest this time in yourself. Remember, you just need a little bit every day. Part of developing your superpowers is to establish your online presence. And for that, you're gonna to need to develop your story. For most people, that's an evolving process. And I found something you can use that will help you tremendously with that effort. So mystorybrand.com, I, I can't remember if it was free or if it's something you have to pay a subscription for, but in either way, uh, you fill out this, you're actually developing a story for your brand. And it was invented by this guy named uh, Donald Miller. He's really, really great guy. And next to each of these little categories in this worksheet, he's got a little video. So I'm just gonna play the beginning of this first video so you can get the idea. There's a video for each section. So you watch the video and then you fill out the section. And then at the end, you end up with this whole story brand. It's really cool. So let's listen. Now that you have made a brand script decision and you've put the aspirational identity of your customer into that brand script, we know where the story is going. I mean, every decision that we make about what goes into our brand script needs to lead our customers to become this kind of a person. And so now that we've got the end of our brand script figured out, I want to go all the way back to the beginning. I want to talk about our character and what they want. We have to define something that our character wants. A story only gets started when we define that something. If we haven't clearly defined it, People are still waiting for the story to get going. Now, there are two mistakes that screenwriters make when they're trying to, de to determine what it is that their character wants. And they're the same mistakes that business people make. And they're this. I mean, the first thing is they'll use kind of vague and inside language. And, and in screenwriting, what that means is I, I can't exactly figure out what this character wants. I mean, it's, it seems like maybe they want to you know, a better life or something like that. Uh, but it's not clear, right? Think about this, you guys. When John Kennedy ran for president, he didn't stand up in front of the American people and say, we will build a competitive space program that will compete with the Russians. And in the R&D for that program, we will spin off a myriad of products that will boost our economy, both in the food sector, in, this, in the engineering sector, in industrial... That's not what he said. You know what he said? We're going to put a man on the moon. That's clear. So that's perfect. It's a very simple, very clear, let's put a man on the moon. I love it. So anyway, that's story brand. And it's, it's a very valuable tool. And I think you'll find it very helpful when you're trying to come up with your story brand. So check that out. And once you've developed your story, you're going to have a very clear idea of what to put on your website. And more importantly, once you're clear on your story, everything is going to fall into place. Remember, when you sign up to do AI things, we show you how to get your story into your website. In fact, we give you a website, and the rest is up to you. So go over to paulgoulart.com and sign up to do AI things if you haven't already. So I used mystorybrand.com to come up with part of the story for developyoursuperpowers.com. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how to use AI to help you with your promotion and follow-up. Remember on day one, I asked you to connect up your Web 3.0 wallet to the Ask Bob app, which you can get to by clicking on the Ask Bob button on developyoursuperpowers.com. Let me show you. This is the developyoursuperpowers.com website, and here's the button you click on for the Ask Bob app. When you click on the Ask Bob app, then you can either connect your wallet, or if you don't have a wallet, then you can click on this Web 3.0 training button and get some training on how to get a wallet. Let me go ahead and connect my wallet. And then uh, it's going to sign me into Ask Bob. And then I'm going to go over here to, well, I already did it. So I'm just going to click on over here where I have a safe chat. And what I did is I wrote in information to Ask Bob about my business. And I told Ask Bob a little bit about my business, the fact that I'm looking for people to help me promote the business. And I wanted to have 
asked Bob to develop me some sales scripts that these people could use to follow up with people that are interested in my programs. Okay, so I wrote that all out. And then here's the scripts that Ask Bob came up with. The first example here is, hi, so-and-so, this is my name calling from my business. I wanted to reach out because I noticed you showed interest in our program on our website. I just wanted to see if you had any questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to know about developing your superpowers in technology, mindset, and music. We have a limited number of spots available so I wanted to make sure you had all the information you need to make a decision. Can I answer any questions for you? So it's as easy as describing my business and then making the request. And then Bob comes back with a bunch of, you know, in this case, 10 scripts. That's excellent. So the question is, who's going to use these scripts to follow up with the people that show interest in my programs? Is it me? Is it someone who's helping me? And how do we get people to sign up? So this is what I mean by when you're picking a goal, a C-type goal, you don't know how, okay? And not knowing how is gonna cause you to ask these types of questions. And then you're gonna, it's gonna show up. The answers are gonna show up of what to do. So you can ask Bob to help you with all these things specific to your business or idea. And then I can help you with these things on the weekly group Zoom calls. Isn't that perfect? All right, so you've got a message and something to say when someone expresses an interest. That makes things so much easier because order is nature's first law. So your assignment is to get connected to the Ask Bob app and sign up to do AI things and let's turbocharge your goal-seeking activities. If you're already signed up, then register for the weekly group Zoom call for questions and discussion and continue working on your story brand. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for day five when it's going to be all about action. And keep going. You're doing great.